so as you saw on the previous video let's go ahead and debug this one more time uh, we were hitting the home index um, action and it was returning hello world if we go to view source here you can see that it's not returning HTML but a simple string okay so let's go ahead and stop debugging and change this back to a action result and instead of returning hello world here let's return a view when we ask for a view like this we are telling the MVC application to return a default view it's also possible to um, specify different views here uh, by name in this case or, or over um, overload number four here it tells you that you can specify the view so I could call you know a home view at this point which I don't have it either I don't have the default or the home view uh, but there are different types of uh, overloads here on the view let's go ahead and just uh, run this as is right now you can see here that we have an error and uh, this error is actually quite descriptive it's telling that it can't find the index view and it's looking for the index b view because this is another MVC convention and it looked in all these different places it looked inside the uh, views folder which we have here see we have a views folder in here it looked inside and it looked for a home folder and index.aspx and so on and he looked in all these different places but he couldn't find a view at all in any one of those places and the reason why it's looking for a index view is because since we didn't pass a name for the view in here it's another MVC convention to look for a view that is exactly the same name as the uh, uh, action method calling it so to add a view here uh, we can click uh, inside the view here and click add view it's going to add the uh, default name uh, the view engine is razor and we're not going to be using any layout at this point and we can now click OK actually add we now have the default uh, code inside the view and we can add some text in here it says hello from the view at this point we can click the Internet Explorer and you will see that now we have that string of text saying hello from the view um, it's actually not a string of text it is an actual HTML page with all the uh, tags needed to generate the HTML we have a HTML tag open and closing we have head we have a body and we have a div um, just like in the view but we don't have anything very exciting going on at this point we just have uh, static text uh, being generated at this point and the in, in the in the MVC pattern it is the controllers job to um, build some data and pass it to the view so then the view can actually render that information so let's go ahead and add some dynamic output at this point one way to pass data to the view it's actually with the model but we haven't created a model yet so we can use another object called the view bag object and this is a dynamic object it's a uh, very interesting um, we can uh, we can create any properties um, to this object on the fly so at this point I'm just gonna say um, view bag message And inside the message, we're going to pass some um, a string. And that string is going to be something like this. Let's go ahead and get the hour of the day. So daytime dot now dot hour. And then based on the hour, we are going to say um, hour, if it's less than 12, um, then we're gonna say good morning and if it's greater then we're gonna say good afternoon so we're building this data on the controller and then we can go ahead and update our view let me go ahead and just delete this for now because we don't need it 
let's go ahead and update our view here and we're gonna say uh, view bag um, I'm gonna use this razor uh, indicative I think is uh, I, f I forgot what the word is for but message and good morning or good afternoon world from the view and let's go ahead and see what we get here and it says good afternoon because it's past uh, 12 by the time I'm making this video I'm gonna go ahead and stop debugging that I'm gonna put a, a breakpoint in here and I'm gonna click uh, debug one more time you can see that uh, when we are debugging this it's actually hitting the um, index in there and if I press uh, step over it's gonna hit the next line and now the view message and then uh, once we have built that information here let's go ahead and see if we can see that information I'm not a hundred percent sure at the watch yeah it says good afternoon in there because it evaluated uh, evaluated the hour variable and now it's asking to uh, render the view so press F10 it's gonna go to the view and then once inside the view I'm just gonna press continue here so you can see the flow of the data um, from the controller to the view next let's go ahead and create a uh, and work with models and by doing that and uh, in order for me to be able to show you models let's go ahead and create a simple um, data entry um, application